The Milan couple told me investigators believe they know who killed their son back in 2003, but they tell me it's the Huron County prosecutor who won't take up the case. He called me every Mother's Day. It didn't matter where he was, he called. And when he didn't call Mother's Day, I knew. I knew then and there that was I was never going to hear from him again. 36-year-old Michael Shepard went missing back in May of 2006. His parents tell me they're convinced he was murdered and believe it had something to do with his struggle with addiction. There's, there's no doubt that it was drug-related. There's no doubt. The couple has been collecting documents and newspaper clippings for over a decade, working closely with the Ohio Bureau of Criminal Investigations. The Gottwalds tell me they've discussed three potential suspects with the BCI. The state has previously pledged interest in the case and told the Gottwalds this fall that the Ohio Attorney General's office would be willing to pursue the case. I thought this is it, finally. We have a chance to get Michael back. We have a chance for justice. But after many unanswered calls, this week the couple got a letter from the Huron County Prosecutor Davia Casper saying she wouldn't sign off because there wasn't, quote, enough admissible material evidence. News Channel 5 requested an interview with Casper, but the Huron County Prosecutor's Office never responded to our request. We know we're so close and we're running into another roadblock like we have in all the years past. Michael Shepard's body has never been recovered, and the couple told me they realize it may never be found, but they said they won't have closure until they've taken this case as far as it can go. In Milan, Megan Hickey, News Channel 5.